Hello, Mason here. On today's episode, we're going to be cooking up some corned beef. We're going to be using the oven method, as opposed to the boiling or the pressure cooking method. Stand by to see how it's done. Okay, my recipe is nice and simple and easy and delicious. So I got a quarter cup of honey and a quarter cup of mustard. I'm just using regular mustard here, but Dijon would probably be preferred, but I didn't seem to have any at the time. And of course I got my brisket here. This isn't the type with a lot of fat on it. If yours has a lot of fat on it, just take your knife and take a slice off the top. Just take off some of that fat. Either way, we'll begin by rinsing our brisket off. The corned beef brisket is packaged in like kind of a brine and if you don't wash it off on the outside it'll be excessively salty and overly spicy. Spiced, not like spicy and like hot, but spiced. I know some people like to soak it for an hour in water and kind of rinse it off that way, but I just did under the sink and then kind of dried it off with paper towel. And now I'm going to mix together my honey with my mustard. I guess this is going to be honey mustard style anyway. And once that's all kind of mixed together, I'm going to get a piece of foil out and onto a sheet pan and set the brisket on top of it. And I'm going to start plastering it with the honey and mustard mixture. And once I get a good covering, I'll flip it over and start on the other side. Sauces like this with the honey and the mustard work really good because the way that the corned beef is made it's soaked in like a salt brine so having anything that's really sweet like the honey in this case really draws out the flavor that uh, sweet and salty mixture. Another common thing to do is to use mustard and brown sugar but I like using honey I think it gives more flavor than just sugar on its own and I really like what it does with the meat here and once we have a really good covering of our sauce a good rub on it it's time to start folding together our foil Now I'm gonna need a second piece on top of here but we kind of want to wrap it all up and lock in all that moisture so that when it's cooking down it doesn't dehydrate and dry out because if your corned beef dries out that kind of sucks and we're gonna cook this thing nice and slowly that way it won't be super duper tough but it'll be nice and tender which is what we want and that's a lot of the difficulty when it comes to cooking any type of brisket like this is that if you cook it too fast it just kind of hardens up and I like the oven method more than doing it on the stove because you boil away all the flavor when you do it that way and if you have your water too hot then you kind of make the thing tough as leather and that's uh, not really the angle you want to go for. So let's throw this in the oven at 325 degrees and I'm going to cook it about two and a half, three hours. And then when we take it out you can measure the temperature in the thickest spot if you want to make sure it's done. That's kind of what I'm doing right here. But otherwise, you want to just kind of wrap it up, leave it in the foil, and you want to let it rest for at least 10 minutes. If you want to leave it rest overnight and then eat it the next day with some sandwiches or something, that's good too. Because this meat really likes to rest. When it rests, all that tension in the meat from the cooking kind of goes away. And it becomes nice and tender. And quite frankly, delicious. Of course, the other thing I should mention after you let it rest and it's time to process the meat and actually use it in anything functional, you're gonna have to cut it. And when you cut your corned beef, brisket, roast, you always wanna cut against the grain. Because if you don't cut against the grain, it kinda turns into this long stringy thing that's kinda tough. But when you cut against the grain, then it kinda breaks apart nice, which is quite a bit more pleasant when it comes to the consumption factor. And that's just what I'm going to do right here. My first cut, I was off in La La Land, but after that, just kind of follow the, follow that grain and just keep cutting against it until you got it all chopped up. And that's how I like to make my corned beef brisket. One thing I do regret is that I didn't put black pepper kernels on the top of it before putting it in the foil. I think that would have 
been a little bit better to have done that, but I didn't know where they were and I couldn't find them. So it is what it is. So anyway, let me know in the comments below how you like to make your corned beef brisket. And if you like my content and would like to see more of it, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.